Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Pick for Life. We're going to get started with a live stream review of Fans Toys FT31B Magnum, their version of Wild Rider. This is their third release, um, <laughs> contrary to the lettering B here, uh, of their Stunticons. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So packaging review, uh, pretty basic stuff. Uh, Fans Toys always has pretty nice boxes, nice and shiny, glossy with some embossing. Um, nice artwork as well. Alt mode. And then on the back, we see him with his uh, brethren. We see him with his, with Rogue King and Spoiler, one of my favorite Fans Toys releases uh, ever. And then you see them, how they scale in alt mode. We'll take a look at them a little bit more with my copies. Out of packaging, out of the box at least, he comes with a set of instructions. Uh, he also has a little bio card. Uh, the instructions are pretty good. Uh, overall, there are a couple places where um, it could be a little bit better, but... Uh, does it also show the price increase? I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. All right. So yeah. Hey, Kato, how's it going? And yeah. So here's his bio and all his stats on the back. Yeah. Like I said, the instructions are pretty good overall. A couple things to note is they don't tell you how to remove the, the replace the face. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. But I actually had to ask uh, one of my buddies. Um, how to do it, razor wire. He's the guy that usually breaks the fans toy stuff. He didn't apparently break this one yet. Um, but yeah, he showed me how to do that. So I'll show you guys. He does come in a styrofoam container. As usual, they also go through the extra step of putting some plastic and even some paper to help protect the really nice finish that paint finishes that uh, fans toys is known for. All right. He also has one weapon that's basically his only accessory aside from his alternate face and yeah we can go straight into robot mode review uh, i feel like this angle is a little bit weird hold on one second let me scooch it down a bit there we go uh he does come mostly in robot mode a as usual they do some wonky like um uh transformation partial transformation to make it more compact and also to make sure that, that the figure doesn't um jostle around too much and damage uh, a couple things that you'll need to do at least on mine um the arms you have to pull down pull it down until it clicks into place there is a definitive click uh be careful of these side view mirrors they're not soft they are hard plastic and just, since you do have to manipulate the arms quite a bit in transformation just make sure you're not um uh, pulling on those the other thing that they should they uh, ship mine in, which is a, I guess contrary to what the robot mode is supposed to be, is that these kneecap pieces untab, and then there's that there the knee piece itself is actually on a telescoping joint. Um, it's actually not really necessary. Mine came like this, so I thought that was what the robot mode was supposed to look like. Um, but apparently, this is the correct one. I don't mind either way, but I guess if you look at it straight on this way, there's a bit of a gap. So um, if yours came this way, make, make sure to pull this out, extend it until you see the screws hit all the way at the bottom, and then tab that into the higher slot, like so. Um, but yeah, I think that's mostly it. I don't think anything else came uh, differently transformed or anything like that. All right. Uh, one of the complaints I'll talk about right away is that his ankles, because of the way that the transformation joint is and just the overall design, um, the ankles are kind of weak and floppy. So uh, he does tend to... Hey, how's it going, Caleb? It does tend to rock around um, and have some amount of instability. But overall, I'll, I'll get to the bottom line up front. Uh, I think this figure is really good. I don't think he's my favorite of the three. Um, I think spoiler is still my favorite, even though this guy is a bit cleaner overall. Speaking of which, let's do a quick 360. Hey, Memo, how's it going? Great to see you again. Doing a quick 360. You can see just how blingy his paint is. I know the camera application on YouTube isn't the greatest, so you might not be able to see all the nice detail, but he is, like, I think 100% painted pretty much. Um, all this gray here is not flat gray. It's the nice metallic flake gray. Um, it looks really nice. The silver paint here is really well done. The red um, is obviously very metal metallic, but he looks really nice. He does have these chromed out kind of vacuum chrome uh, wheels. His wheels are rubber coming around to the back here. He does have a bit of a backpack. Uh, just like Spoiler, he is pretty kind of thin. I remember us uh, fans thinking that 
he had like kind of gumby proportions like basically just a thin stick from the side and it still holds true here but at least they're consistent and again when you have them in hand it doesn't really bother bother you as much or at least it doesn't bother me as much his backpack is pretty substantial in the sense that just sticking out from the straightness he does have this weird lower back area and this weird area up here which isn't very accurate but i don't mind it that much it's not so obtrusive that um it gets in the way of anything Colt QC sticker number 34 for me, just in case people like to document that for any kind of uh, QC issues. I have heard that some people are having issues with the thigh paint, the red thigh paint and transformation. I haven't had anything, but I'll let you know. Um, I'll let you know uh, if I ever have that. But apparently some people have already reported that. See what I'm saying? He kind of wants to lean forward sometimes or lean backward just because of the ankle um, joints. And it's not something you can lock into place because they have like an extending joint. So it's just kind of loose overall. So I'd like that to be a little bit better. But yeah, he looks fantastic. Let's take a quick look at his alternate face since we're here. It's an angry face. His stock face is kind of just a, a straight stoic face. And what you need to do to replace it is just come up here and you need to remove just the forehead. So pull on that notch, pull out on the face. And you can see it's just a single tab that goes in here. Push that in, peg these two pieces, uh, two, two uh, pegs back in, and there we go. His gun comes like this. It is transformed right now for um, robot mode, but you can flip it up for alt mode later. He does have a set of two tabs on either side, pretty standard stuff. I, I don't think it, the tabbing is as nice as it could be. It is kind of loose, actually. Um, it comes off very easily. But with the fingers, the tight fin fan toys fingers that we usually get, uh, it does work very well. How's it going, Pack? All right, so let's just move that off to the side. Well, actually, let's take a good look at it real quick since we don't really look at accessories all that often. Nice molded detail. Uh, I think it's painted as well. I can't really tell underneath my lights right now, but it still looks pretty good. I'm not like a weapons aficionado, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Let's do some comparisons, the ones that make sense. Here he is with Road King, massive. And then, see, I'm I'm kind of scared just to like let him go because he he is kind of unstable. Uh, and here he is with Spoiler, my favorite of the three so far. And they do look pretty similar, like I said, in terms of build. The height is the height are a little bit different, uh, but the overall build and proportions uh, they work well together. Getting these guys out of the way. Uh, other comparisons. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring in the only other Wild Rider I have, which is X Transbots, and I don't remember his uh, third party name, but you can see just how large this guy is in scale or in size. And MP44 Optimus Prime, just for consistency of the MP scale. Both have a backpack, both to handle a little bit differently. Um, but he has much cleaner, thinner calves, I would say. All right. So let's get these guys out of the way and we'll go into articulation. Um, he has a little bit of up, not really any down because of the box around his head. I don't know why he and Road King kind of had that look, but that's the design. He can rotate um, all the way around. Shoulder-wise, he has ratcheted shoulders that go around like so. Can come come up like that. Um, he has a bicep swivel. He has double-jointed elbows. The upper one is a little bit harder to manipulate, but you can get that. Just be careful since you could damage your paint here on the bicep. It does look ratcheted, but it, uh, at least the bottom one looks ratcheted, but it's not ratcheted. Same thing with the top. He has a wrist swivel and pretty standard fans toys joints with a thumb ball joint that comes out and around. And then each individual finger is articulated separately with two pins, one at the base of the hand and one more for uh, the finger. So pretty standard. Uh, I haven't heard of any reports of any frozen joints. Like, uh, I think Iceman had a bunch of them that have frozen joints at the fingers. Nothing like that this time. Uh, 
Coming to the waist, he does have 360. Um, he doesn't have an ab crunch as far as I can tell. And I kept looking, I kept trying, and none of the photos that I've seen uh, seem to indicate that he does. Um, but if he does, let me know. I could be wrong about that. He has skirts in the front and the back and ratcheted hips that go forward and back. Um, you can feel the quality of these ratchets. Um, I would be willing to guess that these are uh, me metallic ratchets inside just from the sound and the overall feel of them. Coming out to the side is a friction joint. He can't get quite to 90 degrees. He comes out like that. He does have a hidden thigh swivel, which I love. I, I hate um, visible thigh swivels. And then he has double jointed knees. The lower one is friction and the upper one is ratcheted. So he can get a nice deep knee bend. Yeah, even last year, he definitely is very paint, um, premium paint. Paint. Let's see, where, else, where were we? Um, oh, so the last thing is just the feet. So like I said, the feet are kind of interesting. He does have an ankle tilt that can go up like this. He does have uh, two pieces of heel here and here. That's really for transformation purposes. Um, he can rock forward and back. And then, uh, as I said before, he has this kind of a telescoping joint. Um which is used for transformation. I, I would it would have been nice if they had some kind of locking mechanism for this, but they don't. So um, when you when you pose him, you might be sliding around a bit. And I don't really know if it's supposed to meant to be all the way forward for robot mode or all the way back. I guess whatever your preference is. And this um, like roof piece uh, kind of acts like as a heel spur anyway. So I guess you can move it up forward, but that's up to you. So I think that's all the articulation that we need to go through. We're going to go ahead and get through transformation. I will say his transformation is pretty basic, but it's pretty satisfying as well. Uh, nothing crazy going on. You don't have to worry about any breakages. Uh, there's not really uh, a lot of stuff that can really go wrong. There's, there's only one point um, that I'll caution you guys on, and I'll show you right now. If you can see it at the low 720p um, uh, limit that YouTube has on their app, uh, right here on the shoulder where this indent is, uh, there is paint scrapage that happens because you have to collapse the chest in. I'm going to show you how to avoid or at least minimize that. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and start with transformation. First thing we'll do is bring the arms up. And then this piece here is pegged in. Just release that. You want to rotate the bicep 180 degrees because you need to get this channel here, this rounded channel. This allows you to rotate the wheel backwards. Once that's done, you can fold this up and rotate the arm back 180 degrees and then collapse it like it was in um, original packaging. So collapse that as much as you can. Same thing on the other side. Flip it up, rotate the bicep, unpeg it, rotate the wheel back. You can rotate this around, peg this in and then collapse it. Uh, I don't think I pegged this, there we go. There we go. You can bring the arms whoop, back down and around, like so. All right, now we'll deal with the, the backpack. You're gonna wanna pull back here and it releases some tabs. It's on kind of a um, armature here. Uh, before we get too far, I always forget this, so I want to point this out now. Um, you do need to rotate the waist 180 degrees. I, I keep on forgetting to do that, so I, I want to tell you guys to do that now. This piece will flip open. And then when you lift this up, there uh, there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to have to take care of here. Just move the arm out to the side just so you can have easier access to this. But you're going to want to pull... Uh, here, I'll go like this. Pull this section out like so once you pull it out you're going to flip this panel up and around like that and then you're going to fold this in on itself like so so same thing on the other side just get the arm out of the way we want to pull this up and around we're going to take this tip fold it around like so and then at this pin joint just collapse it in like that now we'll deal with the head uh, the first thing i like to do is rotate the head 180 degrees. Then we're gonna pull out on the neck joint. There's a tab here that folds in. Once you pull this around, you wanna rotate at that neck joint 180 degrees. So he's gonna be facing forward again, 
But remember, there's two times you're going to have to fold that. The, now his uh, neck panel is swiveled around to the back. Um, sorry. From here, you can fold the head back. His little antennae ear pieces have a little slot or groove that they'll slide in. We're going to pull these kind of um, oblique pieces up and to the f and almost in front of his face. And these have to rotate 180 degrees as well. They only rotate one way. Um, so, for example, with the way we're looking at it now, this one will only rotate counterclockwise. And then when you transform it back into robot mode, um, you'll transform it the other way, obviously. This one rotates clockwise, like so. Like that. And then we can lift these pieces and situate them like so. Coming down here, this is where you're supposed to collapse the chest. To do that, you need to pull up on this little piece. You can see there's a little hinge here, a little pin joint. You want to flip this up. This gives the uh, mechanism to allow the chest to collapse. So you actually collapse the chest separately, and then the arms collapse as well. So I'm going to show you the arms first. Like I said, as you can see here, that silver part, if I were to just push the arm in, uh, and vice versa, pull it out for robot mode, there's going to be some rubbish. So what I would recommend you do is angle it like this, slightly off, then push, oh, sorry, push the arm in, and then once it's past that little uh, um, um, piece of silver, then you can go ahead and then rotate it straight, because you're going to need it to go straight here. From here, this is when you can collapse the arm in as well. So now we'll collapse the arm in. The fist goes in the, to the little gap that was on the side of his hips. So same thing on this side. You can see the chest gap is now collapsed. You can see that telescoping point, which is uh, die cast. So again, we're going to start off by collapsing the shoulders like this at this angle, then rotate it like so, then come in like that. That and doing it reverse when we show uh, the reverse transformation will help you from having that scrapage on the shoulder and keeping that red, nice red paint intact. And now we're basically done with the front part. From here, using that armature, we want to scooch all this forward. There are a couple tabs here. You can see that goes into these rectangular, rectangular uh, slots here. I'm going to bring this Like so, you want to push down on that while bringing the hood or front bumper around. Now we can close this up and tab that in. Remember, just give it a nice push. Don't push on this um, translucent piece. Try to push here. All right, and then the front half is done. The lower half is just as simple. All we have to do is come back here. We're going to loosen this tab. So what, what you want to do is pull this up, but don't pull it de directly up. Uh, I would give it a little internal push in to release that tab. Again, translucent plastic is always some someplace you need to be a little bit more careful with, a little bit more um, uh, gentle, gentle touch with. So I would recommend just pushing in a little bit and then moving that up. We're going to collapse in both heel joints. And then we're going to flip this up and around. And remember, we said that there's a telescoping joint. You can see that here. You need to telescope it to collapse in order for this to fold flat. And then we're going to reverse that transformation where you just collapse that in. Okay. Coming to the front, we'll deal with the knee pad that we talked about at the beginning. Untab that. We're going to collapse this knee pad in. Bring it around to the side like that. This piece here is just a gap filler. You want to fold this up like so. And before we start flipping the knee around to collapse in it on itself, the leg to collapse it on the thigh, uh, what I recommend you do is coming up underneath here and pushing up part of the rear of the car. Okay? And then we're going to start uh, folding this around. So fold around at the lower knee joint, bringing this around like so until it's all kind of leveled out here where the this kind of a spoiler section um, gets becomes all flush, and then you can close up that uh, section that we just talked about. So we'll get to this uh, after we get the other leg transformed in the same manner. So go ahead and fold this up, fold this in, bring this up and around, 
remembering to collapse or telescope that piece. Come, come that, come down like that. Close that up so it's tabbed in there. Flip up this this section. We're going to untab the knee, remembering to collapse it. The instructions are incorrect on this. It actually says to extend it for uh, robot mode, but you'll see that that's completely wrong. Coming up and pushing that opening. We're going to rotate again at that lower knee joint. That's where we're going to focus on. Bring that all the way around like so. Close this up. And then it's a bit easier if you kind of tackle all this rear section as one piece. So once you have it all lined up, tab those two halves together. And then we're just basically going to work this down. Be careful of these two red translucent tabs. You want to make sure to be able to clear that without breaking them. So just push down gently on this. Like so. Once you get into this position, you can kind of push forward and those will latch into place. Um, be mindful that there are some tabs on the arms. You want to push those together like so. Flip these closed. And then you'll have these uh, additional tabs here. Same as the, what we saw on the leg uh, for robot mode. But again, don't have it stretched out or telescope like this because otherwise you're going to have this kind of piece hanging out. You want to have it completely collapsed and, and tabbed in here. If you're having trouble like extending or collapsing them, there are screws on the back. Um, you can just take a small Phillips head screwdriver and just do like a quarter or a half a turn counterclockwise to loosen them to make that extending and collapsing a little bit easier. And with a little bit of cleanup, this is what we have uh, for an alt mode for Wild Rider. Very simple, but satisfying. Um, real quick, since I forgot to do the weight before and it always amazes me how heavy this these guys are in alt mode let's do a little bit of a weight measurement he is 12 ounces on the dot so three quarters of a pound um, and he looks really really nice so taking a look at him at 360 he's a really uh, well done alt mode there we go sometimes you have to Move these little fin pieces just a little bit to get it a little bit more flushed out. But it looks fantastic. The metallic paint really does shine uh, in this mode especially since it is such a, a nice sports car. He does have some translucent pieces here. Some small paint details in the front. Uh, they're not the cleanest because they're so small, but they're pretty good. The back chromed out wheels look really nice. They do spin. Again, he does have rubber tires. Um, overall, the bottom... Uh, aside, from, aside from the fact that you know what his chest looks like, it doesn't really look like a robot, which is which is always a bonus. Nice translucent details here. I didn't really talk about that in robot mode, but they do have internal details behind the translucent plastic, as well as like uh, like some piping here. Um, in here, there's a lot of detail. It's going to be, again, hard to see here, but there's a lot of inner working details here in the red. Um, some metallic paint and yellow on the back. And then they even went ahead and painted the rear view uh, windshield or rear windshield. Uh, that's not even on the um, instructions. They actually have one that doesn't have that paint. As far as, um, you know, playability and articulation, aside from the wheels, he does have his gun that can tab in here. So once again, we'll just transform his gun by flipping the handle down. You'll see this little notch as well as this tab here. You just shove it in, you know. <laughs> There's not much to it. He doesn't have any opening doors, but he does have pop-up headlights, which are very 80s, 80s uh, sports car. Come on. They usually come up a little bit easier than that. There we go. There's one. And I should have cut my fingernails before this here. We'll just use a little spudger to give it a little bit of a push. Come on. Now I know why Chinese reviewers keep their fingernails long. They call it like a, what is it, a, uh, a cocaine fingernail? I think it's a transformation fingernail. But yeah, that's the only playability. It doesn't have working doors like spoiler or anything that, that, like that. No opening hood um, or trunk. I guess, I think at this one, it, the trunk's back here. I think it's a rear uh, engine. So 
Yeah, no other playability, but he does look really, really nice. Since we are doing a live stream, unfortunately, I can't do comparisons with the um, his brethren because I can, can't be, I won't be able to do that live very quickly. But here he is with another MP car bot streak as usual and you can see just how well they do scale uh, i would say he's probably a little bit bigger than he's supposed to be but again i'm not a car expert uh, but just based on the wheels um i would say this looks like he might be a little big but the fact that it does transform from such a uh, big robot to um, a small compact uh, and very heavy um uh car mode is really 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 nice they, they did really well on this one. And I like the fact that they didn't do, go too crazy on the transformation like they do sometimes. All right. So let's take a quick pause here. Uh, I usually uh, wait for questions at the end, but I'm going to go back and see if I missed any questions as far as now. Uh, are you able to pull the mirrors out of for robot mode, that is? Um, I don't think so. Uh, to be frank, I didn't want to try. I'm sure you probably can because at some point somebody did put them in. Uh, but I don't know that that's recommended. Uh, G1 Red Alert says, I'd love to see them do a one-off all cherry red version and the bot, uh, bot mode would look like Magnum PI. <laughs> nice. Uh, clinical, it is the correct car. Yeah, the, the transformation, like I said, is, is pretty uh, satisfying. Um, it's one of those that is pretty, what would I say, pretty intuitive overall um it works in much the same way as some of the, even the the mainline figures hey chris good to see you besnick uh, i've i haven't seen you in a live stream so welcome i still function always great to see you he i still function says pushing the arms in at the first time was sketchy as hell because of the paint <laughs> all right so I, th I think I got most of the questions. We'll go ahead and tackle more once we uh, get to the end, like I usually do. Jin Kim, welcome. My fellow Korean, I assume. Uh, yeah, Jin, Jin says he's worried about the heavy weight uh, being a potential issue in combined mode. It's really hard to say. And it's interesting that you brought up combined mode because as before, it's not super obvious how this guy is going to uh, combine onto the frame. I mean, there are some holes here that could be reused. Um, but overall, it's not very obvious how everything is going to kind of combine. Um, yeah, so we'll have to see. I mean, these tabs here are very evident. Like, the, they have four slots and tabs on the bottom here. So it looks like it would kind of be kind of a locking me mechanism with these two. So you kind of, like, would slot this in and then maybe have some tabs that locked it in like that as opposed to being ported on like that, which I think makes a, a lot of sense, right? Um it's more secure to have it kind of sandwiched in than just pegged in. Especially when you're manip manipulating the leg, um, it's easy to like pull off just a, a tabbed on um, uh, onto the frame like this as opposed to something clamped down. So I, I like the idea. All right, so let's go ahead and get into reverse transformation and we'll finish off the review. So first thing we'll do is uh, really just the opposite. We're going to untab this. Um, I do recommend maybe a, a spudger for this just because um, it is a little tight space. So let's go ahead and just put in our spudger, give it a quick little wiggle. We can bring this up and around. We can extend this now or later. I'll just extend it later. Working with um, the tabs here, really what you want to do is just kind of push it in the middle while pulling down on the front and back. See, and it just pops up. I think it's very similar to the way x transbots did theirs. Once you do that, just keep pulling, pulling around, and then you will actually take these separately. Or at least I recommend once you get them out, at least this far, you can separate them. All right. I recommend coming up and pushing these up. And then we can swing the double jointed knees around. You want to get the exhausts to sit flat. You can see there's grooves here. Once you do that, you can close up that little piece. So let's do that again on this side. Bring this all the way around. Close up this piece. Come around to the, to the front. Bring this gap filler around. 
coming to the kneecaps. Again, we're going to have to extend this and then tab to the upper section here. Once again, th uh, thanks to TM uh, Reviews. Um, my buddy, he actually pointed out that mine came mistrans mistransformed because I was like, why do they even have this? Uh, because the instructions are in incorrect. Um, why do they even have this extending uh, mechanism? And he said it was for robot mode, not for alt mode. Uh, I believe he got his this, uh, this uh, today as well. So I think I'm sure he'll do a full review. I'm debating whether I want to do a full review of this or not, or just keeping with the live stream. All right, so we'll deal with the feet now. Again, just push in a little bit when we pull up on this translucent piece. We want to pull up on this toe and then telescope it and flip the toe all the way around the heel is a little hard to get to so i'll go ahead and use my spudger to release the heel release this section and then close this back up now we'll just repeat for the other side and we'll be good to go on the lower body flip this around You instantly were not getting into these. So, Kata, Kata, I think you, you've been on all my live streams or most of them as of late. Um, and I was not in on these uh, from the get-go um, because I didn't really I didn't really love the Rook King that much. I guess uh, I thought it was good, but I was in on the X-Trans bots. And then after spoiler, um, I decided to go back and, and get Road King. Um, so I'm happy that I did. I, I am liking the, the set a lot from Fans Toys. So here's the upper body done. We're going to come up, uh, lower body done. We're going to get to the upper body. We're going to come up here. There is a little groove here that allows you to get this tab open. But again, my non-coke nail, transformation nail um, won't allow me to do that easily. So I'm going to use a plastic spudger to release that. We're going to pull up like so. And then you want to pull up on this section here to release those tabs. You can just, you can just rock this back on itself close this up, and then we can start dealing with the rest of the body. Um, I'm gonna deal with the arms first. So I like pulling them out at the bottom first, and again, pulling out and then rotating towards the front before I pull out the arms to avoid damaging this section here. Um, I've only transformed it once without doing that mechanism, and I already got some slight damage there that I can notice. Um, so I, I was very mindful in trying to find out a better way to do it the second uh, second time and onwards. So go ahead and pull that out at the shoulder. And then you can pull out on the chest to expand that. Once you have that open wide enough, you can flip down. Ow, that hurt. You can flip down this filler piece here. All right. Before we finish off with the arms, let's deal with all this stuff up here. Uh, as I said, said before, you can only rotate these little pieces one way. So this time we're going to rotate clockwise on this right side and counterclockwise on the other side. Uh, be a little bit careful because these do kind of butt up against the forehead piece. So you might want to angle it just slightly like this when you rotate it. Uh, that's what I was doing. And then before you flip these down, uh, you, it's hard to get the head out. So what I do is grab the antenna pieces and just pull up just slightly um, as I move these down and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to get out a little bit later. But it's it's pretty tough to be perfectly honest. There's probably a better way to do it, but, but we'll see if we can, there we go. So we can bring this up and around, rotate at the base neck joint, tab that in forward. There is a little t tab at the neck panel and then you can rotate the just the head. All right. Let's go ahead and do the um, filler pieces here. You want to pull this section out, flip this piece all the way around to make this section here. We're going to scooch this in and push it down so it sits flush with the chest. Same thing on this side. Rotate this out. Flip this tip piece all the way around and then fold it in so it sits flush with the chest piece. Here we go. We have the two tabs. We're going to go ahead and tab that in. 
to the back and that locks the back into place. And then we're gonna do the arm transformation just like we did in the beginning, rotating the arms all the way up, extending them. And then we had to rotate 180 degrees at the bicep, open up this peg, rotate the wheel towards the back, close this up, rotate the arm, bring it down. Same thing on the other side and we'll be done. Rotate around, open up this peg here, flip the wheel up, close the tab, rotate the bicep and bring it down. And there we have, oh, oh, sorry. And the waist 180 degrees. And there we have Fan Toys Magnum, their version of Masterpiece Wild Rider back in robot mode. And that's it, pretty simple. Both ways are, uh, can you, what can't, what can't you extend the arms? I don't know what you mean. All right, so I'm gonna scroll back a little bit and see what items I might've missed. Use your toenails, that's what I use, referring to the fact that I don't have a, a crack fingernail. Not on stream, I hope. Uh, okay, so I'm missing some of these. I still function C. If you use your toenail, that wouldn't have happened when I hurt myself. He has a windshield butt. Oh, uh, windshield butt. I don't know about that, Sportimus. Super Sport, good to see you. No problem. You you can always catch the live streams later when they get uploaded. I always upload them um, automatically right after the live stream's over. <laughs> Jin Kim says, a large number of my Chinese students have this. Maybe they're actually Transformers fans. Jin, uh, so you're a teacher or a professor or something like that. Uh, I also teach... Um, uh, at a at a university every once in a while as an adjunct. All right. Uh, Android 131C says, getting late text already on this one? Oh, man. Well, keep an eye out for Toy Dojo. Uh, they may have some extra ones that are coming in. Uh, they did just get uh, the rest of their shipment, so if there are any cancellations, uh, just keep an eye out at toydojo.com. Uh... Black Dragon says, oh, but he said he does see that the Coke Neals come in handy for Transformers. <laughs> Sportivist says, hey, hey, Pake is a Kung Fu master. Don't under underestimate him. I am, I'm actually uh, Korean, so I guess I should be some kind of Taekwondo black belt at Transforming. Can you stand him with Blue Streak? Uh, I don't have... Uh, a transform blue streak. My streak is always my unit of measure for alt mode. Um, the best I can really do right now, uh, if unless you guys give me a second, I'll I'll give you the X Transbots Wild Rider, and I'll try to grab maybe a Prowl if I can find him. Give me one minute. All right, here it is my MP Prowl, so you can see how well they scale together. Hey TM, how's it going? Mike Lorber, if you missed the transformation, don't worry about it. It's a very simple transformation, uh, pretty satisfying, no, no real uh, worrisome spots aside from one spot where I recommend a, a slightly alternate transformation method to save on some chipping on the shoulder joint. So be mindful of that when you watch the re-upload. Um, I still function says arms are locked pegged in if I recall correctly. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. John Shimko says, which one would you like better DX9 Henry or Fans Toys Magnum? So I don't, I haven't messed with any of the DX9 Stunticon, so I can't say one way or another. If I had to compare between, uh, these two here, uh, I enjoy the Fans Toys one overall more. Um, it's, it's a simple transformation. He does feel solid. Um, the biggest thing I had with these guys is I thought the scale was off. But uh, again, I've referenced this before. Uh, according to the holy scale chart that you guys, that we all see every once in a while, um, for some reason, the Stunticon car bots are actually pretty large inside compared to the Autobot uh, and other uh, car bots. So apparently this is actually the correct scales. 
at least according to that chart. All right, let's see here. Uh, thanks, Super Sport. He says, you're awesome, Pig. Sportimus says, Pig is one of the best dudes, bar none. Seriously, a great guy. Uh, that's awesome. Thanks for the thanks for the compliment. Ernie, er, Ernie Cervantes, we, we always see you in the live streams as well. So, Mike Lorber says, good scale. All right. Uh, once I realized it's silver paint and not white, I bought it. <laughs> nice. Uh, how's Magnum compared to uh, Transformation counterpart, Jin, Jin asks? I don't know. I haven't messed with um, the Transformation ones either. I know that they think... I think they recently just announced in the last couple of days a reissue with metallic paint. So that could be a really good option since um, since uh, they are another uh, Stunticon. They're, I think that design is more IDW-ish and not GW-ish. So um, it's going to be a different look and different take. So just keep that in mind if you're considering their Havoc. Maddie the Dentist says, bigger the better. Uh, is he as tall as Jabber? Um, all right, you're going to make me... You're going to make me bring this. Uh, how durable are the mirrors? Uh, I wouldn't test them. That's how... I mean, they're, they're thin plastic. There's no way to get around that. Um, I guess they chose not to do the softer plastic, which um, x Transbots has done and some others have done in the past. But give me one second. I'll bring out Jabber. Luckily, Jabber is in the front of my movie collection. So he was easy to get out. So he is slightly taller than Jabber. And again, for those who missed the comparison earlier, here he is with MP44. People are probably uh, bored of all my scale comparisons because I always do the same like three figures over and over. Uh, can you compare him to MP? Oh, go MP44 and spoiler. Yeah, I did that earlier, but I'll go ahead and do that again before we finish off. Here he is with Road King. Here he is with Spoiler. He is slightly shorter than Spoiler, but not by much. You wouldn't really notice it. Um, you would. You wouldn't really notice it um, if I if I didn't mention. Uh, thigh swivels loose. Um, I would. I wouldn't say they're tight, but I would. I don't know if I would say loose. Like they they stick by themselves. So. Um, I would say the knee joints are a little bit weaker than I would like, especially the ratcheted knee joint, the upper knee joint, is a little bit weaker, and the ankles are one of the weakest points um, that make his stability a little bit questionable at times when you're posing him. Yeah, Sportimus, I talked about the scale before. Apparently, the Holy Scale chart does have these uh, Stunticons in robot mode, uh, taller than the Aut Autobot uh, car bots like Prowl and uh, Streak and so forth. So, I mean, I, I was I was with you there. I was like, these are just too tall. Um, but apparently it's pretty accurate. Uh, you got to have a coot close by. I actually just rebought coot. So, John, uh, a lot of people know that I hate a lot of Fans Toys figures. And hate is, is, is a strong word, but I definitely hate... Uh, a lot of the movie figures, except for Jabber. Um, Coot is one of them. Uh, Rouge is the other one. I just bought, since Coot was reissued, I just bought um, a Coot from from uh, Toy Dojo because I want, I'm want. i actually going to do a redo video, redo review, and just to see, maybe I was just in a bad mood when I reviewed him. Maybe, you know, two years on, he's actually a better figure than I um, than I first gave it credit for. So I do have him. I'll show you. This is the best coot comparison I can do right now. He is still in the plastic. So, yeah, this is the best comparison I can do for now. I will do a redo review uh, probably in the next week or two. I'll probably do it as a live stream as opposed to a traditional review. Uh, but I have a lot of other stuff I need to do as well. Uh, some of the stuff that I promised I would do is I got to do a preview of uh, Mastermind Creations uh, test shot of... Tesserus, their last member of the DJD. 
Uh, I also just got this from Iron Factory. This is their Yoroi Shishimaru. This is their uh, Leo Convoy. Or Lyo Convoy. I forget how they pronounce it in Japanese. I never watched Beast Wars 2. So, so I had to do a review on this. Um, there's some other stuff that I have to do a review on that I forget. But I do have to do Cute Coot um, and some others. I might, have, I might be able to do a quick preview of the Star Convoy from... Um, mastermind creations as well so there's there's a bunch of stuff that i want to do uh, if i'm not too lazy but expect at least the next review to be the iron factory uh shishimaru then probably coot live stream redo and then uh, tesserus all within the next week or so oh the blood uh a bludgeon are, are they redoing this as a bludgeon? I don't even know. But this is not bludgeon. This is the uh, Lyo Convoy. All right. All right, Mike, Mike uh, did, did correct me. It is with the I sound. Lyo Convoy. All right, so I was right when I corrected myself. Um, Hunk, uh, I know Hunk is actually pretty soon. Um, a lot of people are, were waiting on, on him to get their two fans toys fixes. I don't have Earthrise Skylinks. I skipped out on, um, on purchasing him. So, well, actually, I think I have a pre-order, but, uh, all the people that have it now, I think they got it early, just like a lot of people have the Scorponok early, even though that's not supposed to release until then. Hey, Lowell, how's it going? It's great to see you again. Yeah, Cricket says Hunk should be three to four weeks, late July. Uh, Jin agrees with me. Uh, he feels the same with fans' toys. Love how they look. Hate how they transform. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I have... I doubt that my opinion of Coop will change after doing the review. All right, Clinical says, Coot was my first FT figure, actually. Wow, that you actually liked. Really? But there are, what about all the Dinobots? That, I mean, all the Dinobots are well known for being pretty, pretty good. Rob T, nice, thanks for joining. Can you show both from the side profile? Yes, I can do that, as, as opposed to just keeping the same static image for the next 10 minutes. Uh, hope you do fans, toy, fans hobby Minerva. Um, I wasn't planning on it, to be perfectly honest, but it is a cheap figure, so maybe I'll just get it uh, just for giggles. I know that um, T-Man978, he's really into that figure, so I know he will do it. So even if I don't, I recommend going over to his channel. 817LDS says, I've never seen you in our, in our stream before. Let's see. You need over 100 characters and with others to make a huge video on a series that follows the show. What's uh, that video with video? What's that call? What's that called video with Transformers? I don't know. Uh, John Cavan says, watch Skull Faces and Javi's reviews on Rouge. A big nopey for me. Uh, X-Transbots is doing uh, a, coo uh, a, a cup. Uh, I forget what his is called. But uh, yeah, they, they've been showing off. They've been coming back on social media a lot recently. Um, talk and providing updates. The trailer for X Transbots will finally come up, come out soon. Uh, they're going to show an updated um, design of that soon. Apparently, Clinical says I hate their Dinobots. Look cheap and plasticky. Ooh, shots fired! Hey everyone, get on Clinical for being a fan toys hater. Not me for once. Like I said, I do like this figure quite a bit. Mike Lorber says you need one of my scale posts. Posters pick. Send it over. Send it over, and I will review it. Uh, you still on Kang Toys Predacons? I wasn't in on those. I was kind of interested in them, uh, just because the design looked inter interesting, and the uh, and Predaking is my favorite of all combiners aside from Devastator. Uh, but after seeing some reviews, he does look really great. But the fact that he's not really G one and that he's huge in robot mode just doesn't seem to make sense. Uh, Lock, uh, okay, Clinical and Sportimus both say that x bots, um reminded me that their cup is named Lock. 
All right. Hey, team, team man, nine seven eight. Oh, he he's chiming in the last minute, just saying that he's joined. He missed the last one, so we gave him a bit of a guilt, guilt trip. You didn't care for Quake Wave either. He was like the first. I feel like Quake Wave was the first third party figure that made you think, "Wow, third party can outdo uh, the masterpiece line." Like that that figure. While it's not perfect, uh, he's he's not even my shockwave of choice right now. But he was the first one where I was super impressed with what third parties can do. And it really got me into fans' toys as a whole. So, all right. Well, I appreciate everyone's time. Uh, hopefully I answered all the questions and you guys got a good look at these guys. Um, like I said, check out TM Reviews. He's in the channel right now. I know he's going to do a full review. I'm still debating whether I want to spend the time doing a full review or not, given that I have a whole bunch of other stuff, like I mentioned, that I'm going to do this week. So... Uh, 817 uh, LD, LDS, uh, thanks for the donation of $1.99. That's very generous of you. Uh, I really appreciate the sentiment. But as I always say when people donate, definitely keep your money for collecting uh, and, and save it for yourself. Um, I appreciate the gesture. I just appreciate the likes and shares and comments and everyone being on here sharing the experience. I don't need your money. So please save it and put it to good use buying another Fans Toys figure or something. All right. I think that's it for, for today, everyone. Hope you have a good one. And uh, keep an eye out for the scheduled live stream of a couple of our figures uh, coming up soon. Thanks. Have a good one.